Now, being a, a new parent can be an arduous undertaking, of course, for a man and a wife. And it is not to demean that, to say that we're about to introduce you to a young man whose life can be as strenuous and challenging as could be, because he is involved in a new sport, a sport few have ever heard of, a sport called parkour. When I look at a city, I look at it the same way a painter might look at a blank canvas and the same way a musician might look at a piece waiting to be composed. It's my art medium. It's, it's what I'm able to do my art form on. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. My name is Sean Morris. I'm a movement artist. I'm a, suppose a tresseur, a slackliner, and a climber, among other things. I don't like to really be held to one specific form or discipline. Parkour is a movement art based really on the idea of trying to get from point A to point B in the most efficient way possible. Free running is more a focus on free expression in the journey between A and B. It's nice to kind of keep it open-ended where I can practice slacklining, I can practice parkour, climbing, all of these things that are really about oneself and interacting with one's environment. I'm 23 right now. Well, really, I've been doing, doing all of this stuff since I was a child. I was the kid that was running around all day, that everyone had a hard time trying to manage. I later learned that I did, in adulthood, need that type of outlet, that anchor that would allow me to stay focused in other means. My path to right here has really just been the culmination of trying new things, integrating them, spanning off to other ideas. I'm really passionate about climbing, and that helps give a lot of static strength. I'm really passionate about slacklining, which really helps to give a lot of balance. And I'm really passionate about parkour, which helps to give a lot of body awareness. It's all about personal growth. And that's, that's what I like about these sports in particular, is you don't necessarily have to be concerned with what Joe across the street is doing. It's all about how far am I progressing and how far am I today versus how was I a week ago. It's pretty windy out. There are a lot of dangers associated with it. Really, visualization is a big part of it. You really want to picture it in its entirety. When I step onto a slack line, be it over height, be it on the ground, it's really a separation. You just kind of accept that your body knows what it needs to do, and it'll, it'll figure it out when the time comes. And there's a lot of letting go associated with that. It really becomes a mental game. A lot of the stuff I do scares me, and that's why everything should be done practically. Small steps lead to bigger steps, lead to bigger steps. And it really helps to ease the fear. Limitations are by far the biggest obstacle in this field. Good, that's eerie. I've taken my uh, bumps and bruises. I've hurt myself trying things on a whim. But that's why you want to start small, work on your fluidity and form, and then apply it to bigger and bigger things. I've been in the right place, but it must have been the wrong time. I just did the right thing, but it must have used the wrong line. 
it's almost humbling. It's nice to know that I'm not able to do something because it means that I'm working at my limit. And it means that I'm actually working to do something. If I was getting it every single time, it wouldn't be fun. We are sensation seekers by, by all means. But the thing is, it's all about trying to do it and maintain longevity. I like being a thrill seeker. I'd like to continue to be a thrill seeker into my 80s. The idea is to try and use risk management to, to keep yourself going. And as long as you have that, the aches and pains that you feel when things do go wrong really seem nominal because it, it's really a beautiful thing to be a part of and you really grow to respect that. Man.